Howdy folks, welcome back to another Beta Wildstar Weekend video and today I'm going to be showing you the Blue Sparrow Ship Hand Mission. I've never actually tried this before but to access it you need to speak to Captain Tolburn and that's where I found him, near Fort Glory in Auroria. This is a Dominion side, I do not know where it is Exile side, but as you can see, recommended level 18 to 24. I'm 19. <laughs> I'm probably going to die a couple of times. This will be painful. And I'm playing as the engineered tank. Well, I say tank, but I mean, DPS um, spec, well, stance, I should say, but I'm using tank abilities. The reason being that. I want to get used to using all the tank abilities all the time. I don't like switching specs. I've always been a tank. I prefer to level as a tank. Usually a lot more painful, but who cares? But Okay, bit of an upgrade, but nothing major. Let's give it a go. taking a while to load but no biggie okay and we're in oh, close the ship vents okay These are level 20 mobs, I'm level 19, so I can handle these okay at the moment, that's not a big deal. It's only a big deal if they're like 23 or 24, and hopefully I'm not going to see many. Or if I pull big groups. No, even then, not a big deal. Um, yeah, playing as a tank, I suffer from DPS. My DPS is fucking awful, but I can take a, a few hits. That's not too bad. Find the medical bay. You can tell I've never played this before, I haven't got a clue where I'm going. Well, that's to exit the ship, so. I like this new UI, by the way. A um, lot less cluttered than the old one. But it's caused quite a few problems during the beta. Hopefully they'll get those fixed. There's a lot more bugs this weekend than there was the last beta weekend. And the last beta, beta weekend, even though it looked a bit clunky, incredibly smooth. Hardly any bugs at all. The only real issue I had last weekend was the loot bug. And that's still in place. Which is quite a big bug, to be honest. I think they've also boosted mount speed as well. Um, last week, um, the mount you got was barely fast, faster than walking, whereas nowadays, well, <laughs> I'm saying nowadays, two weeks later, is actually worth using.
This looks exactly like the layout of the other one, the Steady Traveller. Well, that's probably because that's the cargo bay. find my way into the medical bay which is annoying should be right through that bulkhead apparently uh, can I climb? nope let's see if I can go under it Ah, maybe I wasn't supposed to find it. I think it's part of the game. Okay, I've got to seal the bulkheads. A bit of climbing to do. And it resets. Marvellous. to here. Okay, that was, was intended for me to go this way all along then, so 
That's good. Not the worst being lost in a dungeon. Well, something really annoying just happened. I finished the, this adventure, went to go back down to the planet, and the game crashed, and I lost part of my recording. Luckily, I tend to save it every five minutes or so. Uh, but I lost the last five minutes. Nothing major. This doesn't take long to complete, but now I know what to expect, which is kind of annoying. I was like to be surprised and they let me down. That's not good. But this really is not difficult at all. I had trouble with one mob which I'll point out to you and one mob was phased and reset three times and almost killed me. Apart from that, no problems. Okay, I've got to click the medical kits and the nasty things spawn and I've got to... I'm going to put this in quotes. Cure the shipmates. <laughs> You'll see. Okay, I've got the medikit and... There we go. Yeah, you look like you don't mind some and these big things appear. They're not too difficult. A oh, one is. And the one that keeps resetting is. But I will point those out. Okay, now I need to find crewmen. You'll see them? Highlight green. A bit of advice. Kill the big things first and you'll see why. Oh, that was a sneaky trick. Blinded me, they put a telegraph on me. You can see quite a few hit points, but not that difficult to kill. The reason I said to kill that first is because this happens when you go to cure them. Yeah, they explode and spawn these things, so. While they're very easy to kill, I don't want to have to concentrate on four mobs at once when I can do one at a time. Not difficult, but a little bit time consuming for a tank. Right, this is the one that kept resetting before. Absolute nightmare. And then something else spawns right and dead in front of me. Get off, you big fat rat. I'm being attacked by my, one of my pet rats. They can hear me talking, so they jump on me and try and pester me.
And I think it's actually part of the um, adventure to take out every single one of those things. So whether it res resets or not, I'm going to have to kill it. Bloody awkward. I hope it doesn't happen the second time. Because first time I killed it, no problem. Second time, my health was up like 50%. The third time it reset, I was in the red, and I barely did it with the, like a millimetre to spare. Come on, my bots aren't doing anything. Oh crap. I'm telling my bots to attack and they're doing nothing. Out of line of sight apparently. I can pull him this way. Bloody blinds. Come on, get him. There we go. He hasn't reset, that's good. Another thing spawned. Okay, that's that's okay. See, so got him into the um, orange or yellow, whatever it is, that time. Uh, but when he reset before, I just kept getting hammered. And I never had any medicine or anything like that. I was in trouble, but... Not too much difficulty that time. When my, when my bots actually worked. Next thing about bots, they're not too clever. If they're out of line of sight, they'll just stand there. They won't get in sight. Oh, good to pull two. <laughs> now I can handle them. Just, just put my DPS um, pull down thing down the bottom. That'd be fine. Do a lot of damage. That one was a threat before. That was quite mean, the Cyclopean one. Yeah, that was a tough fucker. Hopefully not too bad this time around, so I know what to expect. It's like a mini boss, but... I don't think he would have killed me, but he put more of a fight than the others. Where are my bots? They vanished again. 
That's typical, that is. Now, apparently, they're doing abilities. Um, ah, they're under him. Or clips or something. I don't know. But they're invisible. Invisible bots. As you can see, he's a lot tougher to kill than the others. Okay, and down he goes. As I said, not difficult, but he can take more of a beating than any others. And, yeah, got to kill all the lumbering parasites. If I'd s skip the one that he usually clips or resets, then I'd have to kill him anyway. So, last one. Okay, and there we go. That is the Blue Sparrow Ship Hand Adventure. Takes about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. I, I don't know. I'll have to check the time of the video. But it doesn't take long. But before I go back down, I'm going to save my recording in case it crashes again. Nope, it's all good. Didn't crash at all. Okay. Oh, the first time around, that's where you get your reward from. This. I think they call them lops. It's like um, I don't know what the hell is that. It's like a weird kangaroo type. I don't know. It's ugly. <laughs> That's all I know. But the ship looks cool. I like the look of the ship. I don't know how it flies, but <laughs> it obviously does. And there we go. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.